guys, this is Tim of Style. I'm Jose Zaniga, and for this week, I wanted to talk about watches again. Now, I'm talking about watches quite a lot on my channel, and that's because I'm very fond of watches. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on a brand because that's the watch that I'm going to be showcasing, and that the brand is called Eli C. The whole point of the video is why automatic above all other watches. Now, this video is very opinionated. At the end of the day, any watch will tell you the right time. So it already boils down to preference, and for me, it's the automatic. And for a lot, actually, for a lot of watch connoisseurs, it ends up being automatic. So why is that? Really, at the end of the day, it's the craftsmanship and the appreciation behind it. So when you're a real watch lover, you appreciate the finer little things. And automatic, there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into it. Automatic uses no batteries. It's on kinetic motion and, and, and you can charge it one of two ways. One is by the knob. You can just charge it by spinning the knob and that actually charges the watch. The next one is by that spinning wheel you see in the back. That one, when you wear the watch during the day, it actually spins and it's charging the watch. So that's one thing. So you don't have to be worrying about batteries. So to be honest, the only good thing about quartz that I see is the fact that it's the, the most accurate watch. But other than that, if you, if, if you really want quality, if you want appreciation, automatic is the way to go. And that's why some, some of the major brands like Rolex, Omega, and if you go even higher to you know, the Hublot and this, like the ridiculously high watches, they all have automatic watches because at the end of the day, that's the most expensive form of movement and it's the most appreciated or widely appreciated. And that's why I like it. Another thing is the sweep second motion. You can tell when you have a good automatic watch by w just watching this motion. And this is something I actually figured out not too long ago reading on uh, watch forums. And that's how you know how well a watch is, by how smooth the sweep of the seconds hand is. If you see a quartz watch, for example, it's a lot of ticking, it's a lot of like, it's kind of like stuttering. Whereas an automatic watch, it, it's very smooth. It goes you know, by very smooth, as you can see right now from this Elize watch. So it's these things that, make, to me, make the automatic more preferable over the quartz. Also, it's longevity. Some of the watches that last the longest are the automatic watches. Now, it does require you know, maintenance, regular maintenance, but if you do take care of it, It'll last you years, decades even. Like I said, I'm not downplaying quartz, I'm just giving you my personal preferences. I do own quartz watches and I've showed them on here before. And quartz actually is the most accurate timekeeping piece. So if you want the most accurate time, a quartz will always be it. But again, I, personally, I always like automatics better. Now automatics will usually tend to be a little bit more pricey. So for example, you can't get, it, it's rare to find automatic under $150. It's almost impossible. You know, there are a couple brands, but they're very cheap brands. So you're always going to have to spend a pretty penny for an automatic, but it's a watch that's going to be with you forever. Now, this is the watch that I'm using for my, to show, the watch that I've been using to showcase these examples to you is actually called Eli Z. They're actually handmade in Germany, which that's not the usual idea when you get of a watch, but actually the craftsmanship of this watch is very nice. I was very much impressed, and for $500, which if you think about it, that's the price, you know, a Bulova, a Citizen, or even a Seiko could cost you. You know, the higher end Seikos usually are, are rolling around five, six hundred dollars, and so are Bulovas. To think that you can get such a nice handmade watch, an automatic one on top of that, for just around, you know, five hundred dollars, that's an amazing deal. So I wanted to review them to see if, you know, it just wasn't another cheap automatic watch. And as you saw, very smooth ticking. I, I love the design in the back. I always love that in automatic watches because when it is a kinetic movement, one of the pluses is being able to see the movement inside. And some watch companies do this, and they actually did this, and I'm glad they did, is that they put a clear case in the back like you already saw, so you can see the movement in the back, which I think that's awesome because if you have it, you kind of want to be seeing it all the time so you can appreciate you know, the, the, fi the, the finer things of the watch. So in my opinion, this definitely is a beautiful watch and very much worth the money spent. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you learned something new. See you guys next week.